What's going on guys, CB Bricks coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars Mock Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at my latest and one of my biggest mocks ever. This is the UTAT Trident or Unstable Terrain Artillery Transport. So yeah, right off the bat, the measurements are about um, 12 inches long, 7 inches wide, about five inches high and it has an estimated 900 to a thousand bricks so without further ado let's get right into the review so right off the bat I just want to say that this mock is massive um, it is just giant you can just see comparison to my hand and here we have a clone right here it is just ginormous look at that so, yeah, basically the UTAT Trident um, gets its names from these three forward-facing three forward-facing cannons, and it's um, kind of unique shape. Um, yeah, it was meant to kind of, you know, go where ATTEs can't go. Uh, it was stationed during the Clone Wars. It was uh, special. It was actually shown in Episode Three. And so yeah, um, my representation is pretty respectable in my opinion. You see, it was very difficult to get these angled. Uh, Any time in Lego, it's very difficult to get these angled armor panels things. But I think I pulled it, I pulled it off pretty well. It actually has legs down here, right here at the front. You can see all the angled elements. But here we have the cockpit. And getting a little bit closer, you can see that uh, it's one of those inverted smoky trans ones. And you can just slide it off using those uh, sliding brackets. And it reveals a little cockpit here. Or here I have, on hand I have a bomb squad trooper. It's not very accurate, but it has a chair. And you can see it has a couple... Uh, panels and you can just fit there nicely and it's nice and snug here's another look at that it just slides on it doesn't really snap into anything so to speak but it has enough friction so that when you're playing around with it it doesn't really you know move um, coming along to the side you can see more of the detail on these two sides, we have these two ginormous cannons. I'm pretty sure they're primary cannons, unless all three are primary cannon cannons. I'm sorry. I usually like to keep them at this angle, um, but they are on ball joints, as you can see, like that. And you can rotate them in many different directions. But I like to keep them keep them close to the body of the, you know, the trident to keep it you know nice and just really cool and uh, here I'll just take a look see how that's built pretty simply um, it's it's really detailed overall and it looks really good it's uh, vice versa same on the other side up here you can see that we have uh, another this one's a rotating cannon and it has similar design uh, up here, but it's not as big as the ones up here, which is, you know, very similar to the uh, actual one. Uh, continuing on, you can see all the more angling and sloping. Uh, very difficult. And we actually have four small, very small turrets um, on either side here, which just rotate by stud friction. And they can move up and down. See how those are made very simple uh, continuing on to the back you can see there's nothing really here special but you can definitely see some hinges so this whole thing opens so if we have this straight you can see that all but either of these will open and they'll open pretty far as well revealing the inside and you can also move this down um yep yeah, oh, 
Whoops. Just my ruler. Um, in here, let's see if I can get some flash on. Um, never mind. Oh, uh, well, let's just look in there. You can see that we have, you know, some nice details going around in there along the sides, and it's actually our gunner spot. So here we have a clone gunner. And this will control all three of the guns. That's why it's such a big area. And you can just sit there and control that. Let's see. Alright, and there's also room on either side for plenty more troops. As you saw, there wasn't much detail in there. Um, these little tabs, nubs up there, is actually to keep it from collapsing inward. They work out, so you can just... Here we have some Bob... Like, um, they don't have room to stand up, so you kind of have to sit them down. Um, but it still works out. So let's just get all these guys in here. There you go, and they can all come out through here. And this just acts like a ramp. So let's get that back on. And push these down. They just rest there, and that's pretty much it for that. And it looks really good. Um, right here we have a Republic symbol that was just on um, one of the clone battle packs. Um, so yeah, here taking a closer look at the legs. The this was one of the most difficult parts to pull off of this mock because I wasn't really sure how to do them, meaning that. Basically, it just looked like a bunch of little nubs. They're like centipede legs, kind of, and that's what I kind of accomplished here. They're very, sim very simply done. I do have some details on the inside, but it's not really noticeable. Um, they're just a bunch of plates with those little things at the end, but it actually works out pretty well in terms of accuracy overall. Um, a lot went into the actual structure of the mock. Oh, sorry actually knocked into it. A lot went into the structure and I'll actually show you guys what I mean by that right now. If I just take this off, you know, you can see how that rotates. It's just on that. Um, take these. Flip. flip this over. It's a very difficult process because it's so big. And under here, just go remove these plates, and you can see a whole lot of technique building was required to get those angles. Um, it was actually basically the main beam right here. This goes throughout the main uh, the cockpit, and this, <laughs> and then I actually had to do one angle to attach these through one technique beam, and a whole another technique beam. So it's kind of like. Uh, like two, and then another one over here, and it, it's just going in all directions down there. It's really, really difficult, and but I'm pretty proud that I I actually pulled it off. So yeah, and I think it looks really good. So without further ado, let's get into our final thoughts. So overall, I am extremely happy with the outcome of this mock. I went into it not knowing how I would pull it off at all. I was just like. Wow, there's a really cool vehicle, and I want to do it, but it just looked really difficult, and, but you know, I accomplished it, and I feel really good about it. It didn't take me too terribly long, only it took me about, I'd say, like, it took me over the weekend to build, it's like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but, you know, on and off work, and... I'm just really happy with this, guys. You can see the details. I will leave a link in the description to the Wikipedia page for this so that you can compare it, you can read up on it, and really, you know, kind of figure out the history of it and how it was used and how it was utilized. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. So, thanks for watching and leave a like and subscribe.